Okay, so uh, sometimes I start receiving messages and I don't know who they're for, but I know they're for somebody. <sighs> so this is me being vulnerable and sharing those messages. And I got my cards because I thought maybe I could add some clarity. Sorry, I seem to be looking down at you. I promise I'm not. All right, so what I was receiving is all about this feeling of I know there's something better for me, but I don't know what it is. And there's this frustration around it. Like, I want to do something different. I want to do something better. I want to do something, and I just don't know what it is. <sighs> it can be very frustrating when you feel like that. Like, I totally get it. So I thought maybe I'd use my beautiful new cards and see if we can get some clarity for whoever it is that is feeling so frustrated. It's almost like I can't see my way because there's too much happening in front of me or I'm overwhelmed and I just feel like I'm underwater. Like I'm just not clear on what I should be doing even though I know I should be doing something else. Kind of like the feeling of knowing that it's time to leave a job and not knowing what for. And then being scared because you're like, why would I leave a job when I don't know what I'm going to do? All right, so we got a bunch of cards and I'm super excited for the clarity. I love it when stuff is just clear. This reading is in two parts because I got my cards in two chunks, okay? So the first part is telling me why do you feel so stuck? What is it that's happening in your life that's making you feel so stuck? I had to move the camera because I felt like I was looking down at you. All right, so first thing, my cards are acknowledging this feeling of stagnation. I can't even hold the card. This feeling of stagnation. She's upside down and she's feeling very stuck. I feel like this is very much related to people in your family or that you feel like our family offering you advice that is in conflict with what you know to be true for you. I don't think they're doing it to be mean, but I think they're doing it because they can't understand what you're trying to do. And when you're talking to somebody about something they can't understand, they can't understand it. You know what I'm saying? So while people may be offering their opinions to you, just be mindful that not every opinion needs to matter you know what you need to do for you. And part of what's holding you back is holding on to this conflict that you're dealing with and trying to find clarity for it. Or trying to convince someone to not think that way about you and that's not gonna work either. Okay, so then I asked for clarity on what do we need to do to help ourselves? And this is what came forward. First of all, they're saying lean on your inner determination, what you know to be right for you. Plow ahead and don't let someone else's opinion of what you want to do for this to really change that. As a matter of fact, keep your ideas to yourself for a while. You don't need to share them with everybody. Just hang on to them for a little while. They're your dreams. They're your desires. Why are you sharing them with people that can't see it the way you do? They're trying they can only see you from where they are and they it gives them a sense of fear when you are chasing your dreams because they feel like they can't do that. And so out of fear, they are reacting and offering you advice that just doesn't fit where you are. They're your dreams and your desires. So to move forward, you're being encouraged to really indulge in this creative version, creative vision that you have. Lean into these creative aspects. I've been talking about creativity for days and it's because the energy we've been receiving that's measured by the Schumann is all about illumination and creativity. So especially in the last few days, if you're feeling like there's just something better for me, there's just something else out there for me, there totally is. You don't need everybody else's opinion about it before you do something with it. So trust yourself, let go of their opinions and just move into this new version of you. You can totally do it. And I'm not saying quit your job today, but I'm saying start making a plan. It can be a plan to leave your job in a year, but it's still a plan. Eyes on the prize, eyes on the lighthouse, not on the storm. This is your opportunity to be the CEO of your life. I'm inviting you to join me. It's so much fun.